way down to Desert Creek Campground in the Toyab National Forest. Uh, something I didn't realize, the Humboldt Toyab National Forest actually covers all or almost all national forest in the state of Nevada. So if you go to a national forest in Nevada, it's pretty much going to be Humboldt Toyab and that goes the whole way across the state. So it's got, you know, it's different ranger districts. And um, I've been doing some research and checked out the uh, Desert Creek Campground. It looks pretty sweet. It's desert and creek, um, but headed south from Reno right now. It's about a two hour drive. Uh, and it looks really cool. And so this will be the first night trying out the roof nest. So I'm super excited to check it out and come along for the ride. Just did my very first ever water crossing. Uh, it's probably like 60 feet and it's not deep, but uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, and then this, it doesn't look very steep, but um, a little bit of a steep incline coming up there. I had I had it in four low coming through and up, but Trailhawk did great. I originally bought a Go Fast Camper Super Light, and they sent out an email saying that their production was extended by about four weeks, which would, would have meant that I wouldn't get my tent until late August, so I'd essentially miss most of the summer season for camping, and I was definitely not okay with that. It was, it's kind of the budget tent, and uh, for by the time you buy a ladder and a mattress, you're gonna spend about 1800 bucks. So for another 1200 bucks, I got the Roof Nest Sparrow. Hard shell, uh, lots of room. I mean, I think it's 80 inches long, tons of room. So I'm super stoked. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun out here in Nevada, California, Sierra Nevada region. Um, yeah, so tonight's my first night in it. Let's take a look at it. this review to be more of a hands-on in the backcountry review and not just a walk around of the tent. I'm going to do a separate video on the setup and teardown, but I'm going to take you guys with me into the backcountry and test out the Roof Nest Sparrow. There's so much space in here. I mean, more than enough length, more than enough width for two, pe two people. I'm almost six foot and there's an extra eight inches, probably 10 inches below my feet. Uh, there's just so much room. This mattress is comfortable. Um, when, when they send you your roof nest, I got the Sparrow, um, they send you this nice little dome light as well, it's built in with an LED strip light there. It's kind of cold, but, um, and then of course I, I also have my, my dome light that I had. Um, yeah, this is great. I mean, so much room, a lot of headroom. You're, and it's windy. Um,
few things I've already noticed about the roof nest. Um, it's really dark in there. So I jumped in there about an hour ago just to check it out. And with all the windows closed, it is dark and you could fall asleep. Uh, so I'm looking forward to a good dark tent. On top of that, a memory foam mattress, of course. But um, yeah, I'm super stoked about the roof nest. Um, The road in here did not, you know, cameras never do it justice, but it was pretty gnarly for, for something like this. For a trailhawk, you know, a, a Wrangler could probably do it no problem. A trailhawk, I was a little bit skeptical, but this thing performed perfectly. I don't think I scraped the bottom once, although I do have skid plates if anything does happen, but um, the trailhawk did great today. I'm super happy. On top of that, it's just a comfortable ride. It's it's a good mix of daily driver and weekend off-roader. I'll try and get some better shots tomorrow morning coming out uh, of the of the hairy places that I I encountered. But yeah, super happy with it. So let's get a fire going. I'm just I'm ready for a, a fire. I'm I'm a little chilly, especially when the wind picks up. It's a little chilly. First night in the roof nest was pretty good. Something I didn't even think about was uh, once it gets colder, memory foam doesn't do so well. It gets pretty hard. So uh, the bed was pretty hard. So is my pillow. And there's our wind again. Um, yeah, I actually slept pretty well until about 4 a.m. I had to pee. <laughs> That's the one downside of a rooftop tent is climbing down the ladder to go to the bathroom. But uh, other than that, yeah, it was awesome. It was so dark in there and you know, not warm. You don't you don't rely on your tent to stay warm, but uh, it was a little bit warmer than outside. I had my zero degree degree bag, so I was fine. But man, just having space to move around I you know I'm always tossing and turning in my sleep so yeah I was really happy with the roof nest first night in the roof nest and it went really well I'm gonna make some coffee hopefully our wind does not pick up I'd like to get some drone shots but we'll see now I'm just gonna have some coffee of this trip was uh sorry it's morning and i'm 
a little chilly. The purpose of this trip was to test out the Trailhawk and the roof nest, and both did really well. Uh, of course, I still have the road out. I still have eight miles out to any paved road. So now I'm gonna head back north to Reno. I'm gonna tear down the roof nest and uh, show you guys how easy and how quick it is. I say that now and, and then when I go to tear it down, it'll be hard and long. <laughs> but it's, man, it's beautiful out here. There's just, it's just so peaceful and there's nobody out here. That's one of the things I love about going out to the national forests specifically is Depending on where you go, there's a lot of national forest that is untouched. You know, nobody even comes out here. I think I saw two vehicles yesterday. So I got a few river crossings coming up. And a few gnarly spots that look completely different going back out. So we'll see how, how well I can spot them and manage them. You know, it might be completely different and way easier going out than coming in you know it's just a matter of angles and such but like I said I am not a, a pro off-road driver or overland dude whatever you want to call it. this is really my first first trial of it and I really am having a lot of fun so I'm going to take you guys to a few other places in the next few episodes and check out some more gear i'm just leaving desert creek campground what an awesome spot and if you are looking for isolation if you're looking for solitude this is a great campground i would check this out if you're in the area for sure beautiful area you'll definitely need a, a decent clearance four-wheel drive vehicle but other than that pretty cool to be getting in and out of the car to get the shot. But it's worth it, and that's what my channel's about. And this is stunning. This is like a canyon. That's just, it's really getting warm though, already. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below about any of the gear I have, uh, any of the places I've been. As well, check out the links in the description below. That would really help out my channel a lot. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.